or stuff like this, particularly on these little griddles, a little bit of beetroot. All the while, your sauce is reducing down, like that. Now you can just give it a quick mix, and it starts to wilt down nicely. Lift this off, sprinkle it around. Just look at the colours on there. Look, 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 look. Look at that. I love cooking onions like this. All the while, the sauce is reducing down. I'll switch everything off now. So this is about there. You can see this as it starts to reduce down. It goes lovely and sticky, which is exactly what we want. And then we can then slice our lovely venison. I'll move this to one side, but you can see that slice this. Look at that. Bit for the chef, dumping the sauce. If you've never, oh. If you've never tried venison before, just try it. Trust me, it's, oh, it's just absolutely delicious. But whatever you do, don't overcook it. It's really a sin for all this, but just beautiful. And then finally, just got a few things left. We've got our nice little shallots. Now, when you cook shallots like this, they open out little, little petals. And I want you to do this because they're like little flower petals, you see? you open them out. Bit of that. And then you've got your nice, lovely, rich sauce over the top. I just love dishes like this. They're so honest. It's just, especially given the surroundings where you are, it's just, they make you want to eat them. And then wild garlic and the wild garlic flowers. And then there's one more thing, just a few little blackberries. 